are back. Welcome back, and here we are on the streets of the Dominican Republic. Remember how we got here? Remember that we tried to catch an Uber, and Uber kept on sending me people who wanted to charge me after I already paid for the ride, and then wanted to also give my number out to other people and just put me in an unsafe situation. So the first thing I notice is everybody on a motorcycle, moped, or in a car wants to give me a ride. Of course, because that's what they do and that's how they get down. So, you know, I'm going, I'm minding my business, but a simple wave off is all they need. They're not really trying to bother you if you don't feel like being bothered. And um, I walk two miles at least. So I definitely got a taste of what it was being in the Dominican neighborhood. And what I liked that I saw was like people hung out at their homes and most of their homes are like businesses. If they have a restaurant, the restaurant is part of their home. And then you see the gas station over there. What's crazy is that they don't allow you to pump your own gas. They pump it like they do up North Jersey, whatever. And that's what is fun, like traveling, because you see how people are similar and different in all types of ways. Mangoes, I mean, everywhere. I had my friend in college who used to say that she didn't understand why people had to buy mangoes. You see that little fish shop right there? Yeah, I was planning on going there, but I'm going to tell you what happened at the end, and you're going to see for yourself. Anywho, that's a homeless guy, but he's not bothering nobody, didn't beg for nothing. But back to the mangoes, yeah, my friend in college used to always say, and boom, before you know it, we had the jumbo. I'll tell you that story another time. And this is what I meant by just, you know, taking it easy, being safe, having that military experience, being able to walk the streets. But then... When you see how I got here now, now you understand why I made this little TikTok video. Woo, yeah. y'all, we made it. We at the Jumbo, which is like the Walmart in their country. Has everything, all different departments. You finna see, cause we finna take a trip around the store. Yes, come on, let's go. Let's get in here and see what's good and what's popping. So this trip, I walked and then I started thinking about, uh, I gotta carry groceries back. That was a bit of a walk. Maybe I should catch an Uber back or try to catch a ride back with a taxi. I was just contemplating in my head, already thinking about how I was gonna get home. But see, the entrance is big like every other department store got your security up front which i think is nice because the security actually is a little different from what we used to in the states because they actually um work with the transportation whoever needs it any type of theft or whatever there's someone always stationed up front and i thought that was really cool so now getting into the actual store so the first department i hit is like clothing and the shoes and you know me i'm a sneakerhead finna check these out what they looking like these nike vox box nikes what 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 the jump man to the side how this look but you see the price right so yeah these just the el cheapos like they be having at walmart i ain't gonna say the shacks but you know what i'm talking about you know what i mean anywho the next section we pop up in is what ah the little gift section and then we dropped the little liquor store in the back the prices was reasonable but i didn't really want to get a drink i was good for the most part and just checking out the meat section now the meat section everybody was a little gathered up little clumps that's where i got the little bacon from you can see how cheap that was yes and i show you the conversion so you can do the math on how much i actually paid for it when you get the time and then i see here that you know pretty much the meat section i'm really looking for fish and i'm thinking i'm going back to that store when i leave here but again i'm working on transportation I really didn't figure all that out all at once Trust but me, you'll be forced to learn some spanish around here if you didn't know any <laughs> but i think i got i know enough to get me around this grocery store is not uh, expensive but some things are not as cheap as i thought like pointy shins are like around ten dollars and I think I'm getting the conversion because my internet sure is not working. And I got to figure that out. So let's see what we get when it's all done. So I done wrote my little list down. 
contemplating what I wanted to cook. I decided to make some fish with like my traditional plantains, red beans and rice and you know, the peppers and um, jalapeno, I mean jalapenos, habaneros and all that good stuff. And the plantain was on ready, price was right. You know, I had to tap in on that. Then I got me some peppers of all colors. I love different color peppers and I love the tasting and the coming together of all that blend. So I was right in my section. And this is when I had to go to the bank and cash out and switch up on the money. I did like, you know, a little uh, $50 transaction so that I can have enough for grocery shopping. There's the math. You can do it. So I have my little DOPs, my duops. You know what I'm saying? Ready to hit the street, spend some of this coin in this Mercado. Let's go. So now that I've got my dinero or my pesos, I should say, I'm in here clowning around. I am not doing nothing special. Not doing nothing special at all. Really was trying to dance in the Mercado, but it was too many people coming around. Hispanics are too nosy. They're not just going to let you do what you want to do. <laughs> They're going to be in your business wondering what the hell you're doing. So that's just me cutting up. Nothing special. Nothing to see here, folk. Uh, anywho. Now, I'm sitting here looking around, trying to figure out where to check out at. Finally checked out, and now I'm contemplating my transportation, looking at these people coming in and out, just observing and uh, deciding if I want to do Uber again, knowing all I've been through. And I had already um, tried to set up a transportation ride for Uber. So I was supposedly waiting seven minutes for someone to come, but seven minutes turned into an hour. And then an hour turned into two hours. I done watched a whole couple fall in love, fall out of love. You broke this, that, and the third. And I still didn't have a ride. And this is what I mean about Uber. And this person was like, I'm on the way. So this person hadn't talked about cost yet. But was like, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Once I said, um, you know, I've already paid Uber. Then it just took forever. And I sat and I waited for a good two hours in a half to two hours and 45 minutes in the meantime i'm going back and forth trying to talk to uber trying to let them know what's going on and i also met a couple in there so the first trip thank god i was able to get them to take me back to the bungalow but i came a second time because i forgot to fish and i didn't want to ask them to take me anywhere else because i felt kind of bad that i forgot you know the fish and I, them taking me home was just a blessing so i just took it for what it was now i'm sitting here i'm observing that this cat is part of this hood because no one's messing with it and it just continues to sit around and do what it do so at this point I go and I talk to the store manager because guess what? While I went through the checkout, somehow my wallet fell. Somehow they found it. Somehow they were able to comprehend and we were able to have a <laughs> discussion about it being me and me getting my wallet back. Nothing was taken out. So I really do appreciate that. But what I had done was at the checkout, I gave the guy who was bagging a tip, but I didn't, I told him I didn't need him to bag it or to take it for me. So Thank God he remembered that as one human to the next. And instead of just, you know, taking my money, seeing my wallet and doing something crazy, he didn't. He reported it. I got my wallet back. They go to Hood Cat again, chilling, just minding his business because that's what it does, you know. And ain't nobody said nothing to this cat. So I'm feeling like this is the cat of that hood. And they know El Gato for who she or he is because, you know, I still don't know how to tell the sex of a cat. But nonetheless... I was finally able to get out there with the couple and then I headed on to the house, you know, but in the sense of me trying to get to the house and dealing with Uber, it was just crazy. Yo, I don't want anybody to deal with that. I don't want anybody to feel unsafe. The more I sat there waiting for Uber to come, the more people started noticing I was not from there and you know the possibilities of what could happen to me being prior military and me knowing how people are in the streets you really have to be on guard especially when you're not from this country and you're sitting there like pretty much a standing target and i'm sitting there texting um the uber customer support what's going on asking them to reach out to the driver they did none of that 
the whole time i'm like what is the driver saying is he on his way i'm sending them literal screenshots of the driver being seven minutes away and not moving at all you know but there's the proof and there's how much it costs whatever the case may be and um that wasn't even quite a dollar if i'm doing my math right that's how many times it was canceled and then these if you want to slow it down pause it it's up to you i don't mind this is just my communications now i'm starting to get bothered with uber and understanding that they are a part of the scam because they're they did nothing to help me and i had to leave in an unsafe situation just to get to the house knowing <laughs> knowing that i didn't even get all the things that i needed and this is their response and guess what y'all Guess what? They charged me for every time I canceled, even though these people were trying to charge me extra and they were aware of that. To this day, Uber has not returned my money. Y'all think about that for y'all ride with Uber. So these nice people were able to get me home. And then I was like, man, I got to get back. So I got an Uber to come out and I'm going to explain to you how I worked the fashion of this scam and understood it for what it was moving forward so I wouldn't get scammed again. Listen to my tips, cause you gonna understand. Hey, Jumbo, and I'ma tell you how I got on past that old bullshit. So first of all, do not respond to the messages inside the actual Uber app when they be trying to tell you the different price. And then hop on your phone, speak a, you gotta speak a little bit of Spanish right in there cause he thought I was a local. <laughs> and I spoke like a little bit of Spanish while I was in there and he was trying to tell me something about the price where I just was trying to play him off, act like I was talking to somebody on the phone, got to my location and jumped the fuck on out and kept going and I kept going. And that's the way it did. But here I am, all up in jumbo, these two prices trying to figure out how to buy something without adding extra cost to my luggage. So finally, I'm back at the jumbo, about to get this good old fish and at first when I saw it, it said Chilo, and I didn't know what Chilo meant. Looked it up. Guess what Chilo is? Red Snapper. Not only am I getting some fish, but I'm getting one of the best quality fishes. Uh, top of the line, I guess, for me in the sense of cooking and liking and, you know, being a lover of pescado. Had to get it, and I did get it. And then you can watch when I unpack to see how much I actually paid for it very reasonable indeed and again you know the currency ratio is just so that um pennies on a dollar we right at the ocean come on let's go oh y'all i'm back from that grocery store right there's a whole story behind that but god is always good to me i found people from the state and australia who spoke english <laughs> i was able to catch a ride yo <laughs> fun times in dr Transportation is a hustle, trust me. So let's get into what I got. I got these eggs. I've got, whew, hold on, I'm trying to hurry through this. Seed, dead watermelon. I said seeded, cause you know in the States they trying to get y'all that part. Then I got some tomatoes. I got some habanero peppers. I got cucumber. I got some serrano pepper, a uh, serrano pepper. I got, this is new to me, astragan. This is, smells good, smells similar to fennel, so I wanna use it. Uh, Roman tomato, papaya, plantain. Oh, did you see my plantain? Ripe and ready to go. Got over here, let's see. Hmm. Pineapple, ripe and ready to go. And got ooh, some potatoes, some peppers. I got different variations of peppers. That's what's still on the ground. And last but not least, I got some oil. And I got some bacon and then I got me some butter and then the last thing I got me was some Greek yogurt these were like 
10 cents. Okay, so everything in total was like $32 in US. So <laughs> yeah, what do you think how I did on my grocery run? Now, what the hell am I gonna cook? Or what do you think I'm gonna cook? Hey, they're super poor. I've only seen two homeless people. Y'all, I'm gonna be real hood. Watch this shit though now. God damn, that was good. This shit's good. Anyway, I don't know. I wasn't gonna let it be a negative day. Whatever happened, I was gonna make sure it was a positive day. And just going to the grocery store and having that experience was a good day. Let me show y'all some of the stuff I got. Cause I didn't put it up yet. And how much I got it for. Onions for like 30 cents. Garlic, 40 cents. My little sun hat. <laughs> the fuck? I got four. I think two bucks. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna show you because the tag's still on it. Here's the price right there. Right? So when you get a moment, oh hold up, let me be slow about it. And somebody can look it up for me and tell me exactly how much I got it for. And that's um Dominican pesos. And guess what else I found out, y'all? Dominican pesos are different from Mexican pesos. Who knew that? Did y'all know? And if you knew, why you ain't tell me? Why the fuck you ain't tell me? <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, it's like $1 to $3 US. So I was in that grocery store. And I have another one. Please and another one, please. And another one, please. Yes. Oh, wait. Let me go through my bag. I got to show y'all this other stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dang, I can't get a rose or nothing? Nothing? <laughs> Damn, I forgot. I forgot that I had these La Leches. These are gonna be really good. I'm gonna wait and take them with me. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for now. I don't, I'm not as serious I may appear <laughs> online in, as I am in real life. Okay, this is what I wanna show y'all. Every Everywhere I go, no matter where it is, I always bring back a shot glass. You know, being a bartender, that's something I always do. Do you like it? Would you take a shot from it? Okay, boom. That's that. And then, and then y'all, and then, baby, look at me when I'm drinking my lattes. This is the official cup. This, isn't this shit so cute? Yes, you know me, I have to have my coffee. And then I had to get the little other one, so it's like, Twinning, you know, you gotta have it. Wait, let me do it right. Let me get my Miss Belfie on. Okay, so yeah, I had to show y'all that. That's my that's my little trinket there. And then what else I got in this bag? Oh, yeah, I'm about to cook. I'm definitely cooking. Um, and this is called Chilo. Does anybody know what Chilo is? in American or English. I said American. Does anybody know what Chilo is, English? When I show you, will you know what it is? Snapper. One second, let me put this in the fridge. Oh. Okay, back at it. What else I got in these bags? See. Ooh, I'm gonna take my background off. Hold on. Let me use that. Boom. I gotta get more proper lighting in my house so I don't be in one spot and I can move around like I can in here. But let's see what we got. What's good, everybody? If you join, thank you for joining me. I'm sitting over here 
um, talking about the Dominican Republic and what's going on while I'm here. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I don't mind answering them. God damn, they tied this shit like I had some goddamn crunch. Don't fucking play with Cheetos, cause I don't like one of the, Cheetos is like my all time, one of my all time favorites, fucking stuff like that. What's what's one of your all time favorite chips? Then I got some rice, and this must be the generic. This definitely must be like the generic brand because this is all over the place. So that's like Walmart and um, what's the Walmart one? And what's the Target one? I don't be knowing all that stuff all the time. Look, this was like 74 cents. Definitely cheaper than it was in the US. And I don't know, I just like a, I just like juice. I'm not taking that, I can't take all of this stuff. It's gonna stay here, but yeah. I, I mean like a good smoothie or you know something that you can drink it with. And anywhere you go, especially any Spanish country, you don't want to drink the water, so I had to get some more water to drink. And then, there's some tomato paste and some evaporated milk. So like these two things each were probably like 20 cents. I spent a total of like, I think it was $23 on all this stuff. And this is their cute little logo bag, Jumbo. Yeah, so that was my, I, I, I really look forward to going shopping in um, different countries, seeing how they package stuff, seeing the price of stuff that we pay for versus what they have and what they pay for. But the gas is like $2 cheaper than it is in the States. And, and they pump it for you like they do in Jersey or up north. Right. Dominicans like the tussle. I don't know if y'all know, but yeah, they are not the ones to be playing with. They will fight you. They will damn sure fight you. But it's been nice, y'all. I appreciate y'all listening to me since nobody wanted to actually have a conversation with me. <laughs> it's all good. But well, y'all need to pat me on my back because just as long as I've been on a motherfucking damn live. You know, I, I don't really like doing live, but for whatever reason, this is a chill conversation. Y'all can ask me questions. If you want to know anything, ask me. I might have to put my glasses back on, <laughs> but ask me because um, I wanted to go to the beach, y'all. I wanted to go to the beach, but it's okay. Another time, you know what I'm saying? Has anybody ever been to DR? We might know any. And then, wait a minute. I'm looking for somewhere to eat. I'm in the grocery store, right? I almost forgot. This is who bought me home. I'm in a grocery store. If something said, ask this guy if he speaks English. And sure enough, he did. He was from goddamn L.A. And then his friend was from Australia. So his girlfriend and him were from L.A. And the other guy, his girlfriend was from Australia. So they was like, man, we don't trust the transportation either. We can take you home. So I'm about to wind down for a few then I'm going to cook. But if, when I'm cooking, I don't know if I'm going to get back on live or not. If I do, it, it might be Facebook. It may not be this. So join me there if you want to. I don't care. But I love y'all on here because y'all always, like, show me love. And even when people say some fly shit, y'all just say some shit. Like, my tribe here is very, very dope. And um, I appreciate y'all. Keep watching. Definitely got some shit coming up. All right. Yeah, I ate the whole damn watermelon. Well, at least one side of it. Now, check out what's in the fridge. Because this is what I'm cooking when I decide I'm cooking. Just stay tuned for the cooking. It's coming. Today just wore me out, so I had to get a cool one. Just one. You know, I haven't drank since the first of the year, so I'm indulging and definitely going to kick off on the cruise. But for now, let me sit out here on this little balcony slash uh, porch area, gazebo, however you want to call it. And just, you know, oh, why, tell me why it ain't open. Uh, hold up. Now I got to go old school. 
Okay, cheers. Cheers to everything, because, man, Uber and transportation has been a hell of a day. Didn't get to go to the beach, but I still rise. I still rise, y'all. And you know what? Tomorrow, it comes a better day. It really does, because I'm a cook. I'm going to let y'all see that. And everything's going to be all right. And I'm going to do this percolator right tomorrow, too. Just watch. Have some faith in me. But whatever you do, turn on the notifications and stick around. Because it doesn't get any worse. It actually gets better. And this trip was worth it on so many levels. I promise you. So until next time, tribe, I hope you guys have a blessed week, a blessed day. However it goes, stay safe and keep watching for some more affordable tips and tricks to this thing called traveling. I'll see you soon, all right?